Welcome back. This is Ready Player Dave, and of course, this is For the King. And of course, this is my first video after post-launch of For the King. There have been a couple of requests for a woodcutter video, and so today I'm going to attempt to tell you how I think the woodcutter is played and uh, some of my strategies and, eh, well, some of my gripes. Let's get into it, right? How does the game describe the woodcutter? Well, this is what it actually says. The woodcutter makes for a stalwart ally in combat, swinging his weapon with all of his considerable might. He is pretty strong. Even inanimate, inanimate objects fail to deter him as his axe smashes easily through wood and stone and flesh and bone. Yeah, that's true, but let's get into the nitty gritty, right? The woodcutter has two primary stats, one being strength, and actually, as it turns out, it is the highest strength level in the game when you start off, and the other stat, of course, is vitality, just like the blacksmith. The woodcutter has two special abilities, elite door bash. Uh, what it says here is requires one slot to smash through doors. I wish there were more doors to smash through in the game. Uh, they, they appear in dungeons, and they're kind of a one-off from time to time. It's nice to have one slot, of course, in a pinch, but eh, okay. But then, of course, why we're here for this entire guide is for justice. So what is justice, or how is it dictated? Uh, basically, a chance of adding splash damage uh, to a perfect strike with a two-handed weapon. So that is key. It needs to be a two-handed weapon, and uh, the attack needs to be perfect, right? You've got to get all those muscles across perfectly. Uh, and then there's just a chance that it might happen. So, uh, justice, right? So let's start talking about justice. Okay, let's set up the perfect justice scenario. As you can see right here, I've got three enemies in front of me. I, the woodcutter, with a two-handed weapon using a single strike, will target that center enemy. In theory, what should happen is I launch the strike, a perfect strike, mind you, and by chance, that strike lands, and you'll actually see it proc with the chance of justice happening. It will attack full force that center character, and if justice has occurred, the two sideline characters will accrue splash damage, or a portion of that center damage. So, that center enemy takes the full damage, the two side characters, under, under the chance of justice, will accrue a percentage of that damage. Complicated, I know. So let's get into the nuance of what a woodcutter is. So the woodcutter, in essence, is a party AoE damage type character. And really the ideal situation for the woodcutter is to be attacking that center character most often. Um, the problem with that is that For the King does a pretty good job of buffing and debuffing our villains. So you'll notice that if, say, the woodcutter you know, his ideal target is that center target, and that center target has got a whole lot of, uh, he's got a shield buff, and it's hard to get through his armor. Or his armor is buffed, and it's hard to get through that armor. Then really, the woodcutter's best option has now been taken away from him, uh, in essence. So he's got a, you know, a target, a different target, and that AoE just isn't as effective. The other thing I think I have an issue with the woodcutter is that I wish Justice would proc a whole lot more. It just doesn't. Uh, and, of course, it's very circumstantial. You always have to be carrying a two-handed weapon. So the minute you switch away from that two-handed weapon, you're carrying a sword or a shield, justice won't work at all. So he's he's actually kind of vulnerable a lot, too. He just doesn't have that extra armor. Of course, you're going to gear him up with all you know the body armor and such, but he can't carry his shield. If he carries a shield, no justice. So, unfortunately, this makes the woodcutter circumstantial. For those scenarios where you can get off a justice at the beginning of combat and you're whittling all those enemies down, it is great. It just doesn't happen very often. And of course, that ideal scenario doesn't happen very often either. By the time the woodcutter gets in there to actually do his massive AoE, he's only got two targets and maybe he's doing a little bit of splash damage to one target, the other target is gone. 
I like the woodcutter. I think it's awesome to have a two-handed bad boy. But man, I'd like to see Justice Brock a whole lot more. Thanks for watching, and if you like, like, and if you subscribe, you mean it. This is Ready Player Dave.